Hey guys, that might get my back here up in the video, guys. A lot of people recommended we use Acrobat instead of, of course, Deep Route and Medium Route or uh, Medium Route KO. Now, of course, on current generations, these work fine. These are perfect chemistries. In next gen, no, it doesn't. They they don't work pretty much nearly at all. And of course, Acrobat is a little bit easier also because we can get this on all my players instead of just my you know, four cornerbacks. I have both of my free and strong safety having Acrobat. And I also, of course, have all my corners with Acrobat, except for, of course, DRC, who is actually a new addition to the squad. So let's go ahead and get into the game film. Let's see how it plays and let's see how we do. So starting off right away, guys, we're going to start off with my first game film. And whenever I go into these games, um, I really don't, honestly, half the time I play these, I don't really care about we learn or lose because that's not important winning and losing in these games are not important when we're doing game film is literally just showing off how good do the players do so let's go ahead and start off right away um also i also changed my playbook so in this game anyway speaking of that offensively i have no idea what i was doing because i, I literally changed my game film i changed my um playbooks literally before this game all right so starting off right away like i said we have all the players that i just mentioned for our for acrobat for our play so let's start off this play he's gonna motion this guy motion the ocean metcalf who destroys me every single time and we're gonna start off we are running man coverage now acrobat is not a man coverage exclusive ability it's not like oh it's like you know man a uh, deep and medium uh ko is literally strictly man one step ahead is strictly man coverage these are not strictly man coverage uh, but what it does do, it helps out when it comes to, and I'm going to go ahead and read the ability of what it says, as you guys can see, glue, 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 other than right here. And the actual exact ability says diving and SWAT, uh, diving, SWATs, and interceptions. So that's what it technically does. Anyway, though, on this play, you can see that it is literally locked up all around. The only play he has really was that right here down the field. And he gets picked off by Eric Allen. So first play of the game. First play of the game. Locked up, right? That's locked. That's a big X. It's over. That's awesome. Okay, skipping forward now. So we're going to see a little bit more of this exact play after we went and scored a touchdown. So now he does have Cordell Patterson also in the backfield as his running back, which is kind of interesting because that is a receiver in the backfield. Now, one thing I'll say about this, because I am running this a lot in this game, and I'm going to run this a lot in my next couple games. And that's going to be right here. Another interception, this time by Eric Weddle. Now, I will say in this game, and I'll say it in future games, is that the only play I get beat on this play, because I actually just played a guy, is literally the running back and wide receivers on those man coverage routes. Because the, honestly speaking, I don't know why I keep saying honestly speaking, the safeties are the vulnerable players. Even though Eric Weddle and Poyer does have those abilities, I guess it's because they play so far off of, off of these players that they're not able to catch up with the speed and actually catch these players to make the tackle, to make the play. So that's definitely something I'll say that is, you know, hurts me a lot as right here, we have them at the one yard line. So let's go ahead and see how this plays. A lockdown, lockdown of definitely a lot less. And I'll say as the game goes on, less and less coverage becomes thing. Obviously that's just because of, uh, you know, stamina and players actually staying on the field for longer. You know, they get tired. They aren't able to keep locked down every single second as time goes on, but going ahead and skipping forward here, you can see again, still very, very decent, not bad at all. Now Acrobat where we're going to see it the most is in contested catches where they should be knocking down passes. Right here, again, like I said, he was just getting wide open all game long. And he was just cooking Deion Sanders. Just absolutely cooking Deion Sanders. And I, I learned one thing. Whenever you run, or not whenever you run man coverage, whenever you play someone online, they love going no huddle every single play. I'll say that. I learned that, like, there is a guy I played against who called no huddle every single play, no matter what. And I'm like, okay. I mean, I definitely say in the future with EA, they got to make a penalty for that. I think that definitely should be a thing. You should be penalized for going no huddle every single play. Because teams in the NFL can't go no huddle every single play. I mean, they would literally, it would literally be GG, bro. But anyway, though, right here does have a step on him with Metcalf. 
he goes uh surprisingly not no huddle but that is of course our first game film now take away from that first game film right and we're gonna see another play here it definitely does work to a certain ability i say i'm not saying though you know playing amazing because definitely they're not they're not playing godlike when it comes to coverage but that is just comes down to again i am running every single play and it's going to get cooked that's just a fact of the matter whenever you are playing a you playing a play every single play you're going to get cooked it's just how it works but what it does come down to i think this is the correct gameplay is the gameplay i just played okay uh this guy actually like i said actually with throwing to the running back like non-stop we're going to run the same concept this time out of 335 wide and we're going to run a more of a blitz play and we're going to see how that actually uh works out but when you are running every single play cornerbacks are getting tired cornerbacks are not going to play as good that's just a fact but i haven't really seen any diving interception or diving swat passes or you know that kind of stuff i haven't seen it yet and i've definitely now played three games with these abilities and i don't know i mean i, I saw a lot better coverage i feel like with the deep man ko and the medium ko when it came to you know going against people rather than this play right here and again currently we had what two interceptions this video so it's not like they're not going to jump the passes or definitely that has been proven like this video we have proven kind of good situations but definitely with eric allen i mean that diving interception you got to think that was because of uh because of acrobat so that was a diving as it says diving swat diving interception that was exactly that now this whole entire gameplay pretty much all he does is throw dimpy passes to the running backs and i want to see that's what i was giving up and i took forever if i literally in this gameplay i took 19 years to adjust to this and actually fix this and to be honest hey i mean more power to him because this is what i want when i'm playing these games like i said guys when we're doing these film studies we want to be on defense we don't want to be on offense i want to score on offense i want to score as fast as humanly possible as it goes no huddle every single play i want to score as fast as humanly possible and defense we want to get as much defensive work as possible now right here what he was actually taking advantage of was the uh safeties right here they actually are as michael straham almost got ran by josh allen they're actually they're playing all like i'm, I'm pressing them right but they can't play too far in on these wide receivers. I don't know if I'm going to have to maybe adjust them a little bit, change them a little bit. But another thing I, I sh should have done earlier in this game, and I kind of took a little while to do this. The guy kept running screen passes and stuff like that. Was I, what I should have done was I should have put, and I learned this late in the game, is I should have put flat zones on either side, and that would have just killed this whole concept. Either that or do that with the running backs, honestly. I'll do that with the safeties, honestly. Just put like, you know, safeties on flat zones that when they do go ahead he does run this is instantly a pick six uh we do go ahead and win this game we'll do a gameplay of this game in another video but guys like i said overall playing uh with this abilities i you know i was really mad and upset about the deep man and medium man ko and how really honestly did absolutely nothing to help like nothing to actually you know show anything good this definitely did i would definitely say you know acrobat is i'm not saying it's the best ability because we haven't tried out all the abilities yet but so far is number one so far it's number one and we'll see how the other abilities you know react and how the other abilities do but so far this is the best ability we have currently for cornerbacks um until we film study the other abilities which we will we're gonna be looking at one step ahead um in a future video another ability i know lurker is something a lot of people told me was a really good ability but this is the only user if you use her i don't think lurker is really that great unless you use her uh deep zone deep in zone ko is something we're going to be looking at deep out of zone ko uh those two different uh type of ones and okay guys thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace out